Yeah, also a lot of people don't realize that, you know, Naruto uh, and the big three in general had a lot of influence on anime. Like the anime of today in general, stuff like Black Clover and uh, My Hero. I'm not saying those anime are like copies or anything like that, that's ridiculous. But like, the majority of anime and manga that exist have some kind of influence from some kind of predecessor. Go away. Like the big three were influenced by Naruto, and then uh, the big three, in as a result, influenced plenty of others. I'm pretty sure. I don't have a source for this, so I might be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's Horikoshi, the author of Academia, said that some of his inspiration was from Naruto. That he was like a big fan of Kishimoto's work. And Kishimoto is the one who wrote Naruto. How dare you guard me? Who do you think you are? Stop that. Perfect. You're done. Get a load of this. Yeah, get a load of that. Get impulse, nerds. Oh my word, they're all dead. I killed them all. I'm reading chat, so I let this enemy walk into me. Goodbye. I have not watched all of Bleach or One Piece. I watched through the Soul Society arc for Bleach, and then I, uh, I read, a, like, a couple of dozens of chapters of the manga, and then I just kind of fell out of it. I don't think Bleach is bad, but it just didn't grip me, really. The Soul Society arc I was super in on, but then, like, after the Soul Society arc, I kind of, like, I don't know. I sort of lost interest a little bit after the Soul Society arc was over, personally. So I stopped reading it. And then I've never touched One Piece, and I refuse to ever touch One Piece until it's done. When One Piece is done, then maybe, when I have some time, I will try to read the manga. But not until it's finished. You missed. Later. When I have some time, Bull do assume you'll ever have enough time now. Oh, there's the gold door I've been looking for. This is one of the chattiest streams we've had in a while. I've been so focused on chat. Go away. No, no, no. You stop that right now. Stupid nerds. No, you don't. Like it. Like it. There's so many ones in this test. Take this. Like it. There can be good filler, but you almost always... If you have a choice between filler or no filler, you should always go no filler. I'm not saying that there's never been good filler, because there has been. Naruto has some good filler in it, even. But, like, it's it's never really good. Like, uh, thinking of Naruto's fourth war arc specifically. The fourth war arc gets such an incredibly bad rap, it's not one of the best arcs in Naruto, but if you read it in the manga, it's perfectly fine. If you watch it in the anime, it lasts for like a hundred episodes or something. It's nowhere near that long in the manga. It's just incredibly not worth having. And then sometimes we get some good, Naruto had some good filler earlier on with, uh, trying to remember what the filler was that I liked. Uh, the filler with, um, the three tails in Naruto was pretty good was a pretty nice, but like, I would give that arc away in a heartbeat to just remove the rest of the villain from Naruto. 
I can't believe I got away with that. Filler is also usually a lot better when you have filler that is just like, and this just goes with like, this mostly has to do with, I'm not gonna go in here just yet because I'm talking to chat, but uh, usually the filler that is like the best kind of filler because it's not as big a deal is when you have filler, what? <laughs> is when you have filler that is just like an episode or two. When you have entire arcs that are filler, which is what Naruto did, because that's how anime used to be. That's what they used to do back in the day. Now, now with seasonal anime and the way anime works in general now and how it's much more like mainstream, I guess, more widely enjoyed in general, that doesn't really happen as much. Nowadays, when you have filler, it's normally just like, hey, we need some filler. Yes. We need some filler to like pad out like three episodes of this 26 episode season. They can just throw in three small episodes of some neat stuff of the characters doing who knows what. And uh, that pretty much takes care of it. And that, that filler is fine. But when you have like Naruto style or Bleach, and Bleach did the same thing as well. And I, I don't know if One Piece ever did. But uh, when you have filler like that where it's just like, yeah, we have like 50 episodes of some random arc that doesn't fit into the story at all that the, the actual author had nothing to do with. And we're just going to do that for 50 episodes, which, you know, when your episodes release weekly, that's an entire year. So, you know, an entire year of stuff that has nothing to do with the main story or like the, the author's actual vision that you wanted to see, you know? So that's uh, that's kind of the, that's kind of my feelings on filler. But anyways, let's stop talking about anime. Let's go hit up this boss fight. Ah! Who do you think you are? Oh my goodness! It's a raid. A raid of like eighty something people. Excuse me. Welcome to stream, raider. Ah! Trying to fight Heartless while being raided by over 80 people is not easy, it turns out. Whoever could have predicted. Welcome welcome to stream, everyone. Glad to have you all here. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. And I'm about to fight a boss. Wait a minute, who do I fight here? Hades. I fight Hades here. But welcome to stream, everyone. Uh, this is a lot of people. We might have to turn on slow mode because I only have like two mods in chat. Who was, wait a minute, who was the one who actually raided? I didn't even see the name. And it's already, it's already gone in, uh, in my thing. Who was it? Who is Chelsea is the one. Thank you. Thank you so much for raiding. How dare you immediately zero me? You're making me look bad in front of the raiders, Hades. You're supposed to, I'm supposed to like look really good at the game right now. Just let me beat you up. Just make, look, Hades, listen, let's talk. You're a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. We can, oh, uh, no, that's not, that's not very cool. That wasn't very cool at all. That was actually kind of rude. I'm trying to look good in front of the Raiders, and you're just over here, like, breaking my cards and stuff. No, don't, don't do that. Stay blade on. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, duel. Oh, it's the level 7 break. I've wanted to see this for so long. What does this even look like? Dark Barrage. All right, that's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. Hades. Hades, I can see you're mad because you're red. I'm going to have to ask you to stop being mad and in no... No. Who do you think you are? Captain Hook? All these zero cards. Alright, that was easy. But anyways, thank you so much, everyone. I think I saw some cheers in there and new follows and whatnot. Thank you all so much. Chelsea, thank you for the raid. I've defeated probably the best Disney villain to ever exist. He had to be stopped. Is, it, is this the exit? No, no, it's not. Where's my exit? Oh, I bet it's it's this, isn't it? No, this isn't it. Help, I'm lost, and I don't know where I'm going. Is is this it? Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> I could have just looked at the map, but where's the fun in that? I think we have a boss right through here. 
I'm pretty... I think we have to fight Lexius. But yes, Chelsea, if you're still here, what were what were you streaming? I always like to ask when people raid what they were what they were playing before and uh, how their stream went and all. What, what were you playing? Were you also playing a Kingdom Hearts game or something else? Sent. You're another one of those nobodies. You've done well thus far. But to possess your powers and yet fear the darkness. What a waste. I do not fear it. I sense that you do. You're also capable of controlling the darkness. Cast away your useless fear. Open your heart. Embrace the darkness. And if I say no? Then you lose both light and darkness. And disappear. I, Lexius, will not yield to the frail heart of an infantile coward. Now, stop resisting. And let the darkness in. I like Lakesius. He's a really cool dude. Unfortunate that he doesn't have a lot of stuff, you know, happen <laughs> for him in the game. But, uh, I like him. I also love his sword that basically just looks like, all right, yeah, we'll just duel right out the gate. Let's do it, brother. His sword, like, looks like a toy straight up. But I love him. This one's mine. Oh, dude, Riku's non-Dark Barrage is way lamer than the actual... No, 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 bad, bad, like, Lexius. We can talk about this, brother. We can talk about this. But oh, Chelsea had to go to class, understandable. I know how that feels. I used to know how that feels. I don't do class anymore. But back when I did, I feel that. But she was playing Kingdom Hearts for the first time ever? That's sick. I have played all of the Kingdom Hearts games before. I'm replaying through, uh... On my YouTube channel, I uh, have a playthrough of, like, all of them, but when I originally played through this game and the first Kingdom Hearts... Help, help, help. Why it didn't work right? I think he's mad, chat. Oh, he's very mad. Zero, zero, zero. Where's the zero? Zero. This is a very upset boy. He's getting angrier? Oh, he's super mad. Chat, I think I upset him. Like, a lot. I'm running. Watch, watch me run. What do you mean, can't run? You want to bet? All right, he's right. He's right. He was right. I'm sorry. Spoke too soon. There we go. That's what I was trying to get. But I played all the Kingdom Hearts games before, but uh, the last time I played this one, Cage 1, I just got done replaying Cage 1 before this playthrough. Oh, I can't do that. Huh? Gonna be 100% honest, I don't remember how to fight Lexius. But I decided to play them all again, or not all of them, but I decided to play a handful of them again. Basically, the 1.5 and 2.5 collection before Melody of Memory comes out. Which is why I'm playing this right now. Mickey, help me! Nope. In the immortal, eh, immortal words of Naruto, you should just give up on me giving up. Goodbye. Fight, good fight. I remember really loving Lexius' data battle in Cage 2. I look forward to getting to do that again, because we're going to do Cage 2 after Chain of Memories. Uh, I still don't feel like I need DP. I didn't even go into dark mode in that fight. You're finished! Don't mock me! Ah! Oh. All right, that broke Riku's spine, probably. You were too much trouble.
too slow. You are the superiors. Forgive me, Zexion. This was a fight I should not have started. I see you now, clearly. Huh? Lexius? Riku, I can see your heart. No, it's not. Darkness this foul could only, only be. That's it. Remember me. Let me drift into your heart. Ansem! <laughs> you called out my name. You have been thinking about me. You're afraid of the darkness I command. Good. The more you think of me, the closer my return draws. And when I have awoken, I will take hold. Your heart will be mine! The king, he protected me. Your majesty, where are you? Please answer! You're with me, aren't you? Yeah, there's a mouse, like, living in your chest cavity. That's a little <laughs> creepy, Riku, not gonna lie. Alexius is gone as well. Vexen, Larxene, Lexius. I wonder who will be next in line. I thought perhaps it might be you. Me? No way. I already took my pounding from Sora. He thinks I'm done for good. No, I think it'll be Marluxia next. For defying the organization and targeting Sora. I hope he moves exactly as his heart commands him to. So, what about you? I thought you guys had plans for Riku. Yes, we were going to set him off against the traitors. But with Marluxia gone, there is no more need. He is nothing but a nuisance now. And he's dangerous as well. After all, he took down Lexius. You know, that is not how I do things. Tell me, did you obtain the data on Riku's home? Dude, I love Zexion. Underrated organization member. Yeah. Huh? What? One of the senses died. A really... Strong one. Huh? The keeper of this castle, Marluxia, has just been felled by the Keyblade Master. Keyblade? You mean Sora? Sora is here? Yes. Want to see him? But... Can you face him? What's that mean? The world of darkness and Ansem Shadow still nest within your heart. Do you plan to face Sora like that? Are you not ashamed? 
Sora's fate is to battle the darkness. He must oppose anyone who hosts the dark. In other words, it's you. If you don't believe the words I say, then you had best see the truth with your own eyes. This card. This is our... Yes. It is your home. How did all of these characters get so good at throwing and catching playing cards? It's crazy, man. They haven't missed a single, like Sora and Riku, every time a card is thrown at them at high speeds, they catch it every time with no fail. It's astounding. That is not the save file I meant to save over, but too little too late, huh? Alright, so we go to Destiny Islands next, then do we go to Twilight Town on Riku's side, don't we? I feel like we do. Destiny Islands, then Twilight- yeah, you definitely do. I remember, I think he meets Repliku there. So, Destiny Islands, then after that it's Twilight Town, then the final one? I think? Probably. Well, Destiny Islands, here we come. 